Discourse number three, October 10, 1932. The I Am Discourses by the Ascended Masters, Saint Germain. Saint Germain, Invocation. Thou infinite all-pervading presence, with thy mighty radiance surging forth throughout the atmosphere of earth, we give praise and thanks for the onrushing Christ power of love and wisdom which with no uncertainty is raising the consciousness of mankind above the sordid selfishness of the activity of the outer self. We give praise and thanks that we have become conscious of thy mighty active presence at all times, and that in the conscious recognition of thee, thou dost charge our minds and bodies with thy pure presence forever. I bring greetings from the radiant host to you all. The Discourse From within the radiance of the great electronic belt, I am projecting this today. From the heart of the golden city, the twin rays come forth, upon which are the speech, the light, and the sound. The time has rapidly unfolded us when we must be more aware of the great electronic belts encompassing all creation, from the Godhead to the individual. The etheric belt around the golden city is impenetrable, far more so than a wall of many feet of steel would be. So in a lesser degree may the individual with sufficient comprehension of the active principle of the God-Self surround himself with an electronic belt or circle, which he may qualify in any manner he may choose. But woe be unto the individual who qualifies it destructively. If anyone should be foolish enough to do this, he would find this belt of electronic force closing in upon his own outer form, and it would be consumed. But those who with wisdom build and qualify it with God's mighty love and constructive power, will find themselves moving in a world untouched by the ignorance of mankind. The cosmic period has arrived when those who have attained a certain degree of understanding must create, apply, and use this wondrous electronic circle. Every creation that is self-conscious action has this circle of pure electronic force about it naturally. But to a large degree its force is ungoverned, therefore dissipated. In consciously creating this mighty ring of pure electronic force, you stop all leaks in the generation of this limitless essence and hold it in reserve for conscious use and direction. After a few months of this conscious creative activity of and within this electronic ring, one will need to be very careful in loosing or directing this force in any manner except by divine love. In the beginning of man's individualization, he was naturally surrounded by this magic circle. But as the consciousness was lowered more and more, rents were made in this great circle of force, causing leaks, as it were, until it has almost entirely disappeared. This, however, was not a conscious creation of the individual but was a natural enfolding circle. Now, students of the light must go to work with no uncertainty and consciously create this electronic belt about themselves, visualizing it perfect with no rents or breaks in its construction. Thus, it will be possible to consciously reach within the electronic belt of the Godhead 
and there receive limitless wisdom, love, light, and the application of simple laws by which all creative power is possible. While the student is admonished to look always and never forget it to his own God-self, which is the creator of his individualization, yet never has there been a single attainment in which there has not been given the assistance of those still in advance. There being but the one God, the one presence, and his all-powerful activity, then the one more advanced than the other is but more of the God-self in action. In this recognition you will understand why you can feel, I am here, and I am there. For there is but the one God-Self everywhere. When the student can once understand that the ascended host of masters are but the more advanced consciousness of himself, then he will begin to feel the unquestionable possibilities within his grasp. Whether he speaks to the Godhead direct, to one of the ascended masters of light, or to his own God-Self, in reality, it makes no difference, for all are one. Until one does reach this state of consciousness, it does make a difference. For the individual is almost certain to feel a division of the one self, which is not possible to be made except in the ignorance of the outer activity of the mind. When the student thinks of the outer expression, he should at all times be aware that it is but the outer activity of the one intelligence, guarding himself at all times against trying to divide in his own consciousness this one mighty God power centered in him. Again, I must remind you that this limitless mighty power of God cannot intrude its wondrous powers into your outer use except by your invitation. There is only one kind of invitation that can reach it and loose it, and that is your feeling of deep devotion and love. When one has generated about himself this electronic belt or ring, there is no power that can penetrate it except divine love. It is only your consciousness of divine love that can penetrate within this great inner blazing belt of the Godhead, through which the Godhead sends back to you its great outpouring, mark you through his messengers, transcendent beings so far surpassing anything of your present conception, that it is not possible in words to convey to you the majesty of the love, wisdom, and power of these great ones. At this point, let me again remind you that the student who will dare to do and be silent will find himself lifted into the transcendent radiance of this inmost sphere. Then, by experiencing and seeing will he comprehend this of which I have spoken. The soul who is strong enough to clothe itself in its armor of divine love and go forward will find no obstruction, for there is not between your present consciousness and this mighty transcendent inner sphere to obstruct the approach of divine love. When you have touched and seen within this inner circle, you will then understand how imperfect is the present expression of divine love. Once one becomes consciously aware of these great spheres to which he may reach, he will find himself fearlessly reaching deeper and deeper within the radiance of this mighty intelligent hub of the universe, from which all worlds, all creation, have proceeded. There are among you strong, dauntless, fearless souls who will understand this 
and be able to use it with great blessing to themselves and others. There are those who will understand and see that the presence which beats each heart is God in action, that the activity sending the circulation through the body is God, that the essence charging forward to vitalize the outer form is God in action. Then, O oh, beloved students, awake to this now. Do you not see how great a mistake it is to sink under the ignorance of the outer self, feeling pain, distress, and disturbance, all created by the ignorance and activity of the outer self, when a few moments of earnest contemplation will cause one to realize that there can be but one presence, one intelligence, one power acting in your mind and body, and that is God. You see how simple yet powerful is this consciousness within you to loose the full recognition of the great pure activity of God into your mind and body and to let its wondrous transcendent essence fill full to overflowing every cell. It seems to me, beloved students, that you cannot fail to grasp this simplicity of your true God-Self acting in you. Ever turn to it, praising it, loving it, demanding and commanding it to surge forth into every cell of your body into every demand of the outer activity, in the home, in your affairs, in business. When your desire is sent forth clothed in the God presence, power, and intelligence, it cannot fail. It must bring to you that which you desire. Desire is but a lesser activity of decreeing. Decreeing is and should be the recognition of the accomplished desire. Beloved students, do forever put away any fear of the use of this great power. You know without being told that if you misuse it, you will experience inharmony. If you use it constructively, it will bring such blessings untold that you can but give praise and thanksgiving for the moment when you awakened to the fact that this limitless power is omnipresent, ever awaiting your conscious direction. The individual who has said that you cannot add one cubit to your height by your thought has stifled the activity and progress of the individual. For thought and feeling are the creative power of God in action. The uncontrolled, ungoverned use of thought and feeling has brought about all kinds of discord, sickness, and distress. Few, however, believe this and keep going on and on, continually creating by their ungoverned thought and desire chaos in their worlds. When they could as easily as a breath face about using their thought constructively, with the motive power of divine love and build for themselves a perfect paradise within the period of two years. Even physical science has given proof that the body or outer form completely renews itself within a few months. Then you must see that with the conscious understanding and application of the true laws of your being, how easy it is to cause perfection to manifest in your entire body, and every organ to leap into its perfect normal activity. In a short time it would not be possible for inharmony to enter your thought or body. O oh, children reaching to the light! This great privilege is the open door of God before you, which none may shut but yourselves. None may obstruct or interfere with it but yourselves. Fearlessly use your God-given dominion and power and be free. You cannot attain and hold this perfect freedom 
except through consciously applied knowledge. Now I will give you a secret that if understood by the angry or discordant individual would tear him or her from that destructive activity even from a purely selfish standpoint. The angry, condemning person who sends out destructive thought, feeling, or speech to another, who is poised in his own God power, receives back to himself the quality with which he charged this power, while the poised person receives the energy which serves him and which he automatically requalifies by his own poise. Thus the creator of discord through anger and condemnation is consciously destroying himself, his world of activity, and his affairs. Here is a vital point students should understand. When one consciously reaches within the inner electronic circle of God, he makes his outer expression and activity a channel for the ceaseless outpouring of the pure essence from the Godhead. This in itself, even though he be entirely silent in the outer expression, is one of the greatest services to humanity, which but few not ascended are aware of what it means to mankind. The one reaching within the electronic circle becomes a continual outpouring and this very radiation alone is a tremendous blessing to all mankind. Thus, aeon after aeon, have there been those unselfish messengers of God, through whom was poured forth the blessing of those not understanding the uplifting presence of this surging energy. When there is one or more found who can be an outpouring for this, It is likened under the first trickling of a leak in a dam. As the consciousness is held steady and firm, and as the rent in the dam increases, greater volume of water comes forth, for at last all obstruction is swept away, and the whole force back of it is poured forth into use. Unlike the water dammed up that rushes forward dissipating itself, because it is without direction. The God power thus loosed goes direct to the channel of consciousness most receptive and there builds itself up, awaiting the opportunity to rush forward more and more. Thus the student of light, aside from his activity in dispensing the truth, becomes, as it were, an artesian well from the depths of which flows this mighty essence of God. The students should at all times remember that no matter what their mistakes may have been, God never criticizes nor condemns them. But at every stumble which is made, in that sweet loving voice says, Arise, my child, and try again. And keep on trying until at last you have attained the true victory and freedom of your God-given dominion. Always, when one has been conscious of having made a mistake, his first act should be to call on the law of forgiveness and demand wisdom and strength not to make the same mistake a second time. God, being all love, must have infinite patience, and no matter how many mistakes one may have made, he can always once again arise and go unto the Father. Such is the love and freedom within which God's children are privileged to act. There is only one mighty, invincible, evolving process, and that is through the power of consciously generating divine love. Love being the hub of all life, the more we enter in and use it consciously, 
the more easily and quickly we release this mighty power of God, which is always standing as a damned up force, waiting to find an opening in our own consciousness by which it can project itself. For the first time in many centuries, the searchlights or rays from the Golden City over the Sahara Desert are set into active operation over America and the Earth. There may be some individuals who will see these rays not knowing what they are. Mankind need no longer think that personalities can continue to generate their destructive forces and long survive. Those who can use this knowledge of the electronic circle should no longer be deprived of its benefits. Give it forth and the warning with it. Use this statement. I am the fulfilled activity and sustaining power of every constructive thing I desire. Use it as a general statement, for the sustaining power is in everything that there is. I am here and I am there in whatever you want to accomplish is a splendid way to feel that you are using the one activity and you thus rise above the consciousness of separation. Benediction O mighty ones of the golden city, glorified are we in thy wondrous radiance. Privileged are we in the use of thy great rays. Blessed are we in the conscious recognition of thy mighty presence. Enfold us forever in thy transcendent light.